Hello everyone and welcome back to a new video. In today's video I'll be showing you how to make a quick, easy and efficient melon farm. So let's get into it. Alright, as you can see here we currently have one layer of a melon farm created. And if you just see these things here, they're just um, glitches that happens on the server quite regularly. But as you can see it involves one flying machine here and another one just here and the melons are continuously growing so we can hit our quota quicker. If we do ice farming, as we can see, we have farmed 900,000 pumpkin, oh, 900,000 melons, and we need to farm 5 million melons so we can get two pumpkins. Now, at the moment, this farm is doing really good for us to get there, but the only way to make this more efficient is add an extra few layers. In this video, I'll be showing you how to add just one more layer. So let's get into it. So to make a first layer, you can make it any way you want. I made it just at the bottom here. It's at the very bottom of the world, so then the water doesn't flow through. To make this first layer, you can watch how I make the second layer and obviously just build it down below. But now I'm gonna show you how to build the second layer above this. Now to get this layer started, all we're going to need to do is place a block of dirt here and build it just to the edge. This is currently the edge of my world, so I can't go any further. I believe this is four chunks that I've made this farm in. Uh, it's actually five. And I just did that to make as much as I can. And this just comes out of that layer because the mounds will be grown in here, but it will still get collected. Now, you can make this farm as big as you want but I suggest making it as wide as I have to fill up the chunk. So for this farm, you're gonna to wanna to make this 16 blocks wide, which can fit completely into one chunk, although I have this farm coming out here, so it just goes one block into the other, which doesn't matter because the melons do grow where they need to. So now from here, what you can do is decide exactly how big you want this farm. Now, if you wanna just make it one chunk, you can go ahead and do that. Although I recommend making it as big as you can. When I first built the first layer, I built it to the length of my island. Now my island is bigger so I could extend it, although I don't really have a need to extend it. Now I have this fully laid out here. All I'm going to do is bring this line down and fill it in with dirt. So if you want to go ahead, fill it in your dirt, and then I'll show you what's next. All right, now that we have this fully filled in, the next step that we're gonna to wanna to do is get water in. Now to get the water in, some people may know that water can hydrate four blocks. So what we wanna do is come to the corner and count in to the fifth block. And now we wanna again come in five blocks this way. And now we break out that block and that means there's four blocks that way, four blocks that way. Now to get over to this side, what we're gonna to wanna to do is go to the ninth block, meaning there'll be eight blocks in between. Now we destroy the ninth block and there should be eight blocks in between which will all be hydrated. And we wanna do that again this way. So we wanna go out to the ninth block and destroy it. And there it is. Now what you may do is go all the way to the other end doing that same method. And then you can just go diagonally and place it over there. So I'll be back once that's done. All right, now that we have all the holes ready for the water, what you're gonna to wanna to cut come to, especially if it's your second level, come across and place blocks underneath. I believe you can use any block that you want, seeing that the slime blocks do not touch, but I'll be using obsidian just because I guess why not. And just like I did that one, what you're going to want to do underneath each hole, cover it up with obsidian and just do that for all. And I'll be back once that's done. Now just grab your buckets of water and go through and fill it all in. Now this next step can be done two ways. One is you can go through and manually hoe all the ground and then come through with seeds. Now the second option is using a planter bot to fill in the area. To do this, all you need to do is look at the radius. This plant's eight wide. So what I need to do is go to the ninth block and then I need to go in nine blocks. And then you just place your planter bot there give him a bit of fuel. Before you select the recipe, what you're gonna wanna do is fill in all the areas you do not want the dirt, that you do not want seeds to be planted. 
and as you can see here we are going to want seeds planted here so you can't you skip a block seeds skip a block and just continue that pattern like this and now on all the blocks that do are not tilled what you're going to want to do is place the dirt and run it down to the ends and now as you can see I filled in all the areas that I do not want the planter bot to place seeds on now what you do right click it select melons and as you see it will start planting the melons and it will also till the ground that hasn't been tilled now I'm gonna let this bot go I'm also gonna manual manually plant them seeing that I already have a few seeds and I'll be back once that is all done now once you have everything tilled and melon seeds planted this is what it would look like now it's time to create the flying machines for this you're gonna need four redstone four trapdoors four repeaters four obsidian eight observers four steel pistons and I believe somewhere around 15 slime blocks but I grabbed 64 just for some extra placement blocks to build this first stopper what you're going to need to do is come in from six blocks so so this is our six block with the melon seed we come in one place a placement block place an observer so that the redstone pulse is on this side place your obsidian piece of redstone and a repeater on full ticks so once you've placed it click it another three times and it should look like that now you can remove your placement block what you'd usually do is place a trapdoor here but for easy use we're not going to place that there just yet now to build this next one we're going to come in three blocks from this side and again we're going to go in one place our placement block our observer our obsidian redstone and our repeater on four ticks now this end should be looking just like this now if we go to the other end we can build up the same machines so we come in seven from the end place three placement blocks like that place your observer obsidian redstone and repeater again on four ticks now destroy your placement blocks next what you want to do is come two in again up three observer obsidian redstone and repeater now grab your trap doors shift click onto the redstone repeater and like so all right now it's time to make the flying machines all right now place a block that is one below the observer and when you come out this way six now what we do come out one and place one here destroy that block there and come out this way a total of five which will end up just like that now the next step is to build up two like this destroy those blocks come down below place your observer and observer which will lead the faces up and once you destroy those top it should look like this next step come out two and two here now grab your sticky piston place it like so and destroy the block behind it and we do the same here which should now make the flying machine look like this one thing I forgot to mention is we need eight oak or eight of any type of block which are movable so for this now we go we want below the slime blocks and we place it just where the dirt is and if you do have a melon just there you can destroy it and it should look like just like that now this is ready to go but what we'll do is build up the second small flying machine before we let it to go so to build this one what we do come below the observer like that and one block on this side now for the other side place a placement a block and destroy that now that is the basis for our slime blocks now again like before build up two blocks 
destroy that middle one there and place your observers like that. Destroy the top two blocks. Come out this way too. And also come out this way too. Place the block. Now we need to place the uh, the sticky piston. Come back this side. Place the sticky piston. And now, as you can see, this one is built up. Now we need to place the block, which is just like there and just there. Now these are ready to go. Now it's time to test the flying machines to see if we got it all right. What you do, shift click onto the repeater and shift click onto the repeater in the right spot. And there, as you can see, they fly off. As you can see, they do leave a bunch of glitch blocks, which is all fine, just a bit of lag on the server. Now, as you can see, it hits here and it sends it back off. If you don't, if they stop here or something like that, or the trapdoor continuously goes up, make sure that the repeater is on four ticks. And that is how you make the melon farm. Now, if you want to collect it, you can use your collection chests and set up a little system. This fills up very quickly but I don't need to be collecting the melons, so I just collect a bit. And that is how you make a quick and easy melon farm. And of course, this is stackable, like I showed you at the beginning, that gives you that distance on how high you need to be. If you did enjoy, make sure you join the Discord, the top link in the description, to let you know when new videos are coming out, and also if you wanna chat. Also, if you'd like, please do drop a like or even subscribe, that would mean a lot. And yeah, I'll catch you in the next one. See you then.